Hi, uh, Michael. There's a lot of talk today about emotions and tangibles, things like that, after uh, Alabama's very close win over Arkansas. What what was kind of the, the theme, I guess, that emerged, and, and maybe what caused Nick Saban to kind of have the outburst that he did today? That was, it was interesting because it's something that we've probably often noted covering the team that they're very businesslike, they're very... Uh, not a lot of emotion. They're just they don't celebrate much. They don't talk much. They just they just handle their business. And and I think it, it, it's kind of caught up to them a bit this week. And it has in recent weeks where they they're kind of a little bit flat. And uh, Nick Saban was overly excited to see them celebrate the, the final play, the, the interception by Wayne Collins. And, and you know I almost thought they were going to get a flag for the excessive celebration. I can't remember thinking that in a while about this team. So I, I think he was, was happy. I think he'd been talking about trying to get them to be more emotional and play less. What I would say robotic. Yeah, and I think it was something I noticed a little bit in pregame warm-ups, but I saw Justin Fowler uh, really vocal out there, and that was coming after he said he was going to step up uh, and be more of a vocal leader. But I think, especially on offense, there isn't really the DJ Fluker type, or the maybe even you want to say the AJ McCarron really yelling at guys. We did notice Blake Sims being more vocal, and he said he was more vocal, and his teammates said he was more vocal after mm -hmm. this game. So that's something to build on going forward. I think Alabama is now looking for this sort of emotion combined with a lot better execution. Yeah, no, that was sort of the what's kind of set Saban off uh, later on in that same you know, Everybody's got such a high expectation for what our team should be. Uh, I was just happy to see our players be happy about playing a game and winning. I, and it really sort of, if you want to know the truth about it, pisses me off when I talk to people that have this expectation, like they're disappointed that we only won the game 14-13 and in the way we played. Really, that's frustrating. You want to talk about something that's frustrating? That's frustrating to me. For our players who play with a lot of heart in the game, People see a 14-13 win over a team that they beat 52 nothing the last two years, and they weren't so happy. And then Saban said, "Franco was was tired of hearing people unhappy with 14-13 wins in this in this uh, SEC West, where just about everybody can win." Well, I think on defense too. I don't know if there's any shortage of emotion because Landon Collins combines that great play right. with about as, as as much motion as, as anyone we see out there, and he's a guy that can kind of build around and kind of move move forward going into this Texas A&M game. Or again, like you said. Nothing's really going to come easy anymore for Alabama going forward. Now that team has lost two straight, but they lost to the two of the top three teams in the in the country right now in the polls. So uh, it, it's a big change of pace with them coming with that offense, the, the fast-paced offense that are giving them trouble. So you know, it'll be interesting to see how everybody responds. It'll be something to look for uh, for Alabama. They'll be excited to go out there. It's been about a full month since Alabama's played a game at Bryant Denny Stadium, uh, so sh so emotions should be high no matter what.